Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting up a new series on partial differential equations based upon a special request. So what is a partial differential equation? Well, it's an equation that contains partial derivatives, as opposed to a regular differential equation that contains derivatives. Now, just so you know that it's an equation that contains partial derivatives still doesn't really tell us what it is and why we need partial differential equations. Well, let's try to define it. So here we have our first definition. It says it is a differential equation that contains partial derivatives. Here's an example, an equation. It's got a left side, a right side, and on both sides of the equation, we have a partial derivative. It turns out we have the second partial derivative of y with respect to x equals 1 over v squared times the second partial derivative of y with respect to t. So you can see here that we have two independent variables, x and t. So our function y is equal to a function of both x and t. And that's kind of the key. Here you can see that the dependent variable in the equation depends on more than one independent variable. And that usually differentiates the need of having a partial differential equation versus needing a differential equation. A partial differential equation is an equation that we need to describe something when there's more than one independent variable. And you can see clearly in this case we have two independent variables, both x and t which requires a partial differential equation. What that means is that we can, change the, the, we can change one variable and keep the other one constant and see how the function changes. And then we can change the other variable and keep the first one constant and see how the function changes. And that's really the key to a partial differential equation. So here we can write that when we take the partial derivative of y with respect to x, it means that it's the change in y, the function y, when x changes and t is kept constant. And also, we can say that the partial derivative of y with respect to t is the change in y when t changes and x is kept constant. And so that again describes what a partial differential equation is. Now let me illustrate it graphically here. So what we have here is we have a wave equation in one dimension, in the dimension x, and it also depends on t. So what that means is that the height away from the x-axis called y, depends on both the variable x and the variable t. Now, here it says it's a times the sine of kx minus omega t. a is the amplitude of the wave. k is the wave number, or the wave, yeah, the wave number, which is 2 pi over lambda. And omega is the angle of frequency, which is 2 pi times the frequency. So now what we're going to do is we imagine we have this wave here, and right here we're taking the initial height y sub i, that's the, I, the height right here at the crest, at a moment in time. Now we allow the wave to move to the right at velocity v. So a small time later, so what we're doing here is we're keeping x constant and we're varying t. We'll let t go to a small time in the future, a small delta t, and notice that the wave then moves to the right, and being at the same location for x, keeping x constant, now you can see that the y has changed. So that means that the function y changes as t changes and x is kept constant. Now what we also can do is keep the time constant. So let's go over here, and again we're going to measure the height of the function right here at the crest, y sub naught, which of course would be the same height. And so uh, actually, I'll just call it y sub i, so I'll stay consistent here. So the initial y at this particular location, but now we're going to keep the time constant. So time doesn't move forward, the wave stays put in its place, and now we move a small distance in x, and we measure the height of the function again. Notice that now the height of the function is different. So you can see that there's a change in y when we have a small change in x, and the time is kept constant, or we have a small change in y as x is kept constant, but we make a small change in the time. And so since the function depends both on x and t, if we then want to write that in the form of a differential equation, we have to write it in the form of a partial differential equation because we need to find out how much y changes when x stays constant and t changes, and how much y changes when t stays constant and x changes. And that's what we mean by a partial differ differential equation. It's based on a function that is dependent on more than one independent variable. And that's how it is.